welcome to Storytime Anytime. This is my daughter Jacinta. She's joining us today for our story and it's called The Jolly Toucan. Let's go have a listen. The Jolly Toucan. On an early morning in the jungle, Jolly the Toucan poked his bill out of his cozy nest. His stomach was rumbling because he was hungry. It was time for breakfast. He hopped from branch to branch to search for delicious fruit. He especially loved figs. After a yummy breakfast, he flapped his wings and travelled around to say good morning to his friends. He loved cheering them up. Jolly also loved perching on a branch and singing cheerful songs to his buddies. When they sang along with Jolly, musical notes echoed through the tall trees and into the blue sky. La 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 la, croak, 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 I'm over the moon today. La 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 la, croak, croak, croak croak come and join in my song it's a happy happy day la 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 croak 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 the next morning jolly was asleep in his nest the jungle was completely silent aside from the sound of the rain the raindrops glittered like diamonds on the wide leaves of the trees. Suddenly, the sound of an animal broke the silence. It was a young okapi bleating and whistling beneath Jolly's tree. Half asleep, Jolly poked his head out of his nest and looked down. Shh, be quiet, my dear friend, it's too early. He whispered to the Akapi, shaking his long bill from left and to right. I'm sorry, but I'm upset and I hoped you might cheer me up, said the Akapi. What's wrong? asked Jolly as he skipped down the tree. He was now wide awake. I have a special gorilla friend in this forest. We always have lots of fun together. Now I must return home and I don't know how to tell her, said the Okapi with a frown. I see. When are you leaving? Jolly asked. He moved closer to comfort the Okapi. Next week, the Okapi sniffled and shook her tail. I'll miss you too. We sometimes have reasons to leave. And you are a special guest in this jungle. Try to spend as much time together. What if you go and tell her now? You're right, Jolly. I feel less upset now. Thank you. You are magical to me. The Okapi smiled and bleated with joy. No problem. Stay happy, please. Sure, Jolly. Goodbye said the Okapi, galloping away. Jolly flapped his wings and flew through the jungle in his usual manner. After a short while, he saw his best friend, Torki. Great to see you, Torki. What are you up to? Jolly asked the parrot as he zigzagged his long beak in the air. Well, I need to discuss something important said Torki as he opened his wings and glided in the air. Sure, I'm happy to listen. I have two friends, an armadillo and a marmoset, and they are unhappy. Torki settled on a branch and lowered his voice. Could you tell me what's wrong with them? Unfortunately, no. They only want to talk to you about their problems. I want to see my jungle friends happy. I will go and check on them. Thanks, Jolly. You really are the joy of the jungle. Jolly flew away and saw the armadillo. 
looking extremely small and sad, curled up at the base of a tree. Jolly called out to the armadillo. Hello, what seems to be the problem? I don't want to be an armadillo anymore. I wish a magic wand could give me wings so I could fly just like you. I can fly, but you're special too. You don't need a magic wand to be happy. I can cheer you up, trust me. How? asked the armadillo in a half-hearted way. Well, you can roll into a ball, Jolly said. I can't. Look at your natural armour. I don't have that. You can build a burrow for yourself. I can't. Try appreciating what you can do. You only need to be yourself. You are unique. You're right, Jolly. Thanks. You're an amazing friend. I can be happy just the way I am. Now, I'm ready to go on with my day. See you around, my friend. Now it was time to find the upset marmoset. Jolly flew among the trees and scanned the jungle with vigilant eyes. The marmoset was slumped over a tree branch. What's the matter, my friend? Jolly asked. I don't get on well with my twin brother. It's a frustrating situation for me, said the marmoset with a sulky face. Really? What is the problem between you two? He can leap up to six metres into the air, but I only jump five metres. He always says that he is better than me. My only dream is to beat him, the marmoset said. I want to find an instructor who can teach me how to leap further than him. Jolly spread his wings wide. Listen, you don't have to leap as high as him to be happy. Ask your brother for help. He can show you how he does it. That way you can practice together and learn together. Even if you never leap as high, you know that you tried your hardest. I have never thought that way. Thanks a million, Jolly. I feel great now. You're very welcome. I'm so happy to hear that. Jolly said goodbye to the marmoset. In one day, he made three of his jungle friends feel better. Content, he flapped his wings and flew among the tall trees. He was full of positive thoughts and feelings. Being jolly, even in difficult situations, was his way of life. Wasn't that a great story? Did you enjoy that story, Jacinta? Yes? She's a bit shy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to watch all the other stories we have on our channel and have a bit of a giggle. And we'll see you next time. Let's wave bye. Bye.